Greetings. Welcome to the joy of pouring and me, your host, Cy Frost. So we're just going to give it a little bit of chitty chat here because some people, they don't have the premium service from YouTube. And uh, I've had some messages that immediately as the show starts, they get hit with like a 15 or even 30 second uh, commercial. And they hate to miss anything important at the beginning. So I make sure there's nothing important apart from just warm welcomes and hellos for the first 30 seconds until we're good. There we are, we're good. So hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me. A huge shout out to everybody that was in the live chat pre-show waiting for the show to actually start. You are fantastic, beautiful, supportive, <laughs> lovely humans. Uh, I know you're all part of the acrylic uh, the acrylic pouring world, but thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts from Vanna and I. So thank you for uh, being there for us and thank you for watching the show. So today's show is the Christmas special. So yes, apologies, no Christmas hat or anything like that. We're going Christmas with the theme with the pour that we're doing. So I am part of the Sunday Funday crazy acrylic crazy train of premieres every Sunday and I'd just like to give a shout out and tell you guys at home uh, the timetable uh, for today. So after me, we go to Taslima from Taslima Mayer Art and she's in the UK. Then after Taslima, we go to the Fine Art of Distraction with Nathan. Then after the Fine Art of Distraction, we go to Venom Fluid Art uh, with our brother from another mother, lovely Darren Wombat, also known as. Uh, and then after the Wombat, it's my number one fan, the lovely, the lovely, the darling Christy and her YouTube channel Creations by Christy. Uh, I've just got to look down now to make sure I get it right. After Christy, we have got Shannon from Shambi Fluid Art. Hi there, Shannon. Then after Shannon, we've got Bubbles with her, I think it's maybe your fifth or sixth premiere, something like that. I'm not too sure on the live, on the live uh, uh, crazy train. But anyway, yes, we've got Bubbles after Shannon. And then we have the lovely Angie Mason from Angie Mason Fluid Art. Hi there, Angie. And then the caboose of the premiere train today is the lovely hippy dippy painter man, the lovely Tony. So there we go. That's the introductions, a lot of the introductions, and then also the train timetable. So you know where we're going after here. Big shout out to the lovely Vanna and the other moderators in the live chat there who will be the lovely Bridget maybe if she's feeling a bit better if she's not but a big shout out and uh, I love you to Bridget and hope you're feeling better and better each day this uh, the virus seems to have really knocked you for six bless you but a uh, big shout out to of course the lovely uh, Brit as well hi there Brit not forgetting Sheldon and not forgetting Lance so I just saw a, a, a sticker fly up <laughs> Oh, Lambeen, thank you so much, darling. That just takes me to the next bit where I say, please, 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 if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We really need uh, the subscriptions from you guys. And then what makes it really good, if you subscribe to our channels, you can interact in this live chat like this. Uh, and you can also leave likes and comments on my videos, things like that. So please, guys, please subscribe. And please, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button because the more thumbs up we get, the more likes we get, the more likely YouTube is to suggest our video to people that haven't seen it before. One second, need a quick little... Need a quick little drink of water. But yes, that's um, the uh, fantastic... Uh, other moderators in the live chat there, so a big shout out to all of you guys as well. Right, okay, yes, um, and yes, the super stickers, when you're in, you're in the live chat and you subscribe to the channel. Oh, we just saw one go up there from the lovely Lambin. Bless your heart, Lambin. thank you. Super stickers and super chats, if you look in the bottom left-hand corner of where you type your message in, there's a little dollar sign. Click on the dollar sign, it'll take you to a page of stickers with different denominations and you can write little messages in the stickers and it's a way to support me and the banner and the channel, but also to get your messages highlighted so they're more likely to be noticed and if you've got an urgent burning question and we keep missing it, apologies, but it does happen occasionally, it's a good way of getting your uh, little question highlighted. So okay, that's the stickers as well. Now let's get on with the show and tell from last week, the last week's, uh, last week's dried results. Now, we, oh, bless your heart, Janet, another one. You really are so lovely. Thank you so much for supporting us and the channel. Bless your heart. Thank you. 
Um, last week we were testing house paints as cell activators and we were using our dollar store paints uh, with some uh, Australian Floetrol and then we were using our, uh, we had some black colour to go in Tricorn Black, we also had some white Glidden and we also used just some of the Amsterdam standard acrylic paint but with no Floetrol on it, just a little bit of water. Now this is the result from that one, okay, so this is the Amsterdam paint with a little bit of water. I want to make sure it's really focusing in nicely you go you know it didn't react or make as beautiful uh, as cells oh bless your heart heather wow heather sweetheart wow well, rainbow bean thank you so much that's incredibly generous i just saw a message from missy hi there missy thank you for joining us oh and tassie too hi there tassie um, so as you can see, it didn't work quite as well as the Australian uh, flow troll version, but it still made a nice bloom and we've got some nice patterns around here. But that was the, um, the colour to go in Tricorn Black, just straight up, no water, no nothing, just the Tricorn Black. And then we did the four-way little, um, uh, little uh, checkerboard, this one. So we had, this was just the white um, Glidden on its own, uh, the... Uh, premium white in satin and then on this side this was the black color to go uh tricorn black just on its own and then this one here wow in the corner this was the amsterdam paint and just a few drips of water just to make it a bit more kind of uh, uh, uh a, a little thinner obviously but look at the way it, the swipe worked it just really worked fantastic so that is the let me get the right one that was just the lamp black, the standard acrylics. That was it and a few drops of water. And a big thank you for Darren, because it was Darren, I believe that's where I picked it up from, just mixing a little bit of water with the Amsterdam paint. And it gives you great cell activator. So there you go. Um, now, after that, I don't believe, I didn't do this one, did I, live last week, Vanna? I don't think I did this one live <laughs> last week. I don't think so. It was, oh, Janet, thank you so much, Lambine. Bless your heart, Merry Christmas. Thank you very much, sweetheart. Um, I think I might have done this after the show, maybe, because I was really vibing on the, um, on the Amsterdam, uh, just mixed with a few drops of water. And I was like, wow, let's do this. So I was gonna do a diagonal swipe, which I did, but I only had enough to do the one side. And I put a little bit, I used, I tried out um, uh, the Rust-Oleum gold mine, just with a few drops of water as well. And as you see, it worked quite well just as the cell activator there. And the cell activator being this side, here we go, is the uh, straight up tricorn black from color to go uh, I guess if I'd mix that with a little bit of water, maybe we would have a better reaction like we did on the top. But here we go, last week's canvases. So yes, LWCs, we haven't had these for a while. Now, um, I'm not sure if you guys would want either of these, but if you would like to help support uh, me and the channel, um, all of my figures have been dropping and been racking my brains, trying to feed it as much of my time as I can to try and figure out what I'm uh, doing wrong or say, or what I could be doing better. But I just really, it's just too crazy a busy a time. Hopefully now when our work slows down, I might be able to figure it out and do something and get all these numbers, my subscribers, the likes and everything like that up a bit. But um, if you would like to have these, win these last week canvases, uh, I don't think you'd really want the bloom, but um, you know, I, I guess if you really do, but um, this is quite heavy on a piece of old cork flooring. So maybe not that one, but these two definitely, I can put a coat of resin on for you guys. And these will be the first uh, last week's canvases. We announce who the winner is in the new year. I'll put some resin on them, but if you would like to win them and you'd like to help me out, please watch my video number 86, okay? I, I believe it's the Halloween swipe, swipe Redemption. The numbers on that one is really low. It's only just over maybe 200 views. Uh, and uh, like I said, all the numbers are dropping, but if you would like to help me out, please watch that video in its entirety as many times as you want uh, and just comment love. And then out of the love comment, I will pick one winner and we will be sending these off, or maybe two winners. And the first name can pick the first one and then two. Maybe that might be good. Or actually, no, because there's two lots of postage. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Anyway, please watch my video number 86 and comment love and we will announce the winners in the first show of next year. Now, that really conveniently brings us on to uh, the next show and new year. One second, guys. Because we do this uh, Sunday Crazy Train 
on a Sunday. Next Sunday, oh, Caribbean, <laughs> Andrea, thank you so much, sweetheart. Love you guys so much, she says. Yes, mm, we love you so much. Thank you so much. That was really generous. Thank you. Um, we do the show on a Sunday. Next Sunday is the 25th and it's Christmas Day and um, I'm busy, <laughs> Van is busy. We're busy having a nice family Christmas. Um, so uh, I'm pretty sure Sam, uh, I, I, some of the other guys might be doing a crazy train uh, on Christmas afternoon maybe, I'm not too sure. Um, Darren will be sorting that out if he is and he will let us know in the two groups in Venom Fluid Art and also the Acrylic Crazy Train. If you're not part of either of those two groups on Facebook, please search us out. Uh, it's Venom Fluid Art and the Acrylic Crazy Train. Please join us there. That's where you'll find all of the admins and the mo and moderators that make this show and everything so special. Anyway, so they may be doing something next Sunday, but the following Sunday is again New Year's Day. Now, I intend to enjoy my New Year's which means that I'm going to enjoy New Year's Day sitting on my butt in front of the fire. So we're not gonna be back until January the 8th, okay guys? So that's a day to mark in your diary. Sunday, January the 8th, 1 p.m. PST, 3 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. on the East Coast, 9 p.m. in England, 10 p.m. in Europe, and 8 a.m. Monday morning uh, for those of you that are in Australia and New Zealand. So yes, we won't be back until January the 8th. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much all of the waffle that I needed to do and introductions and, oh, okay. I'm losing my touch a bit, Vanna, we were at 11 minutes there. So <laughs> anyway, that was last week's canvases and uh, that is how you can uh, win them if you really want them. So let's uh, start showing you the colors we're gonna be using. If you didn't see on the Facebook groups this morning, we're gonna be using this beautiful one, Lily Pad. And I tell you what, actually, let's just put the camera pointing down. Dun, 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 dun. And we can just see, there we go. Sorry for moving the canvas, guys. Moving it on you. Oh yes, and something I also just wanted to quickly mention Da, 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 da. We will be having a Game Changer giveaway on January the 8th, okay? I'm gonna start the competition. We've got another spinner, a uh, plastic spinner that's been donated. And I have all these spares. We've got some Australian flow troll here, some, uh, some boom gel. We have some uh, construction, metallic paint. We even have Am I Crazy? We've got some boogie. And we've got some meteorite, little piggies to win as well, along with some other pigments and some glitters. And like I said, also, uh, the spinner. So the game changer when it giveaway, please tell whoever you know that's just starting out in fluid art about it and they can uh, enter the competition on January the 8th where it really is a game changer for them because they, like, we're giving away everything they need to start doing some proper really good blooms, especially if you've been doing the uh, Shelley Art course and are in North America because these will be all North American ingredients. So yes, January the 8th, don't miss it. It's going to be the new game changer giveaway. Excellent. Okay, then my friends, let's just get the camera pointing a little bit lower, bing bing, and we can see what's going on. So the colors we're gonna be using is this one is Lily Pad from uh, TLP, this little piggy. It's this fantastic light pea green color with a lovely shimmer to it, metallic finish. It's really lovely. Uh, and these are obviously the Christmas wreath kind of themed colors, and this is where it's the Christmas special, okay guys? And we're laying pigment paint, pigment, pigment paint. The paint we're putting down here is this one. It's Liquitex Soft Body Acrylic. And, um, oh yes, I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> well, Thalocyanine, or cyanine. Thalocyanine Green. Anyway, you can see it's a, uh, uh, opaque because the little square is empty there. Uh, as uh, lily pad doesn't have a, a uh, little sign, but I'm pretty sure lily pad is gonna be semi-opaque. This is, uh, uh, sorry, semi-opaque, semi-transparent. This is totally transparent, this green. So we're gonna be using and working on a uh, Glidden white pillow, okay guys? Then we're gonna be putting down this beauty. This is TLP ball gown. It's an interference gold. So it kind of has this sort of lovely soft gray color, but when it catches the light, it flashes this fantastic gold. Um, and which is going to be really beautiful uh, break between the colors. So we're doing a kind of bloom vine with the two greens and then the gold. And then with this one here, it's a semi, 
semi-transparent, uh, as you can see. This one is uh, Afterglow by TLP. It's fantastic, beautiful, <laughs> brightish kind of pink with a gold shift to it. I like that one. <laughs> Vanna says she likes that one. Uh, and as you can see, it's a great contrast with the uh, quinacridone crimson, crimson that we're using here with it. So we've got a kind of nice dark red and then a light pink for contrast. And then we've got this beautiful piggy to put down first so it halos and outlines the bloom vine. And then we've got this lovely light green, the uh, lily pad, with the, uh, let me try it again, phthalo cyanine <laughs> green. So we've got some great contrast. Okay then, my friends. So if you are painting along at home, that's what we're using. Now, again, sorry guys, chitty chat chat. It is rather dry in our house because we've been having the fire going almost 24 seven. It's um, minus uh, the, the minus ice on the inside of the glass. Yes, it's, my, it's so cold. There's ice on the inside of our windows. It's crazy. The thermometer that I have that's right against our uh, window. So it's a little bit warmer than being out is reading minus 13 and that's minus 13 Celsius. So sorry guys for you guys in, um, in, in, in the US. I'm not sure what that is in bloody cold, <laughs> what that is in Fahrenheit. <coughs> Excuse me. But here we go, guys. We've got the piggies mixed up right here with the tube paints. So let me just pop them open so I can show you guys the consistency of them. Ooh, here we go, I'm trying to grab the wrong side. Bingo, so. There we go. This is the lovely, uh, the, yeah, lily pad. So let me just show you. The consistency, it drizzles really nicely off the spoon and then just holds up for a second and then just disappears straight in. There we go, guys. I'm sure you can see that. So that's the Lily pad. And let me show you the consistency of the oh, phthalo cyanine green. Here we go, guys. Da -da -da. Just trying to get, see it drizzles really nicely, pulls up just for a second and then falls back in on itself. Now I mixed these colors up first thing this morning. So they've been sitting all day, uh, or all morning round, I think. Uh, and a couple of little taps will get the last of the few little bubbles out. But this is the, here you go guys, this is consistency of the ball gown. Bingo, bingo. And this of course gives you guys time to mix some paints up at home. Or if you've got your stuff already mixed up, you know, pick some paints out. And uh, don't worry if you haven't got exactly these colors, just anything that's similar will work. So here you go, this is the fabulous Afterglow. go. Just look at the color of that. Oh, just, oh, there we go. Let's see if I can get the, uh, get the, um, there we go. There's the gold flash. Bingo, bingo, hey. Let me just see if I can get that on the, there we go, guys. This is the ball gown. And let's see if we can get the lily pad to show. show. It's got a kind of got a, there you go. Beautiful metallic kind of sheen to it. And then the last one is just the straight up uh, quinacridone crimson. And I already mixed this up a little while ago. Oh, here we go, look. Now this. Oh, it might be a little too thick. Just, it's slightly on the thick side, guys. I'm not sure if you can see. But it'll do, it'll do. We'll work with it, we'll work with what we've got. Okay, so there's our colors. There's the consistencies, you can see them all. Let's get these little ones out of the way. And let's get some paint on a canvas and start throwing it about and having some fun. So I said at the beginning, <coughs> sorry guys, excuse me. I said at the beginning, we're gonna be doing a uh, Christmas kind of garland bloom vine with nice little red flowers on it kind of thing. Uh, so I'm gonna lay the ball gown down first and then we're gonna lay our greens down. And then I'm pretty sure we're gonna use the white Shelly Art Cell Activator of Amsterdam Paint and uh, Australian Flow Troll. And then I've also got the Rust-Oleum Gold Mine uh, mixed up here. Uh, the ratio for the Amsterdam Paint is usually three to four to one, somewhere around there. But for the Rust-Oleum Gold Mine, because it's already uh, fairly uh, liquid, uh, I only mix two, uh, two to one of uh, the Australian Flow Troll to one part, uh, sorry, two parts of this to one part Australian Flow Troll. And that works really quite nicely. No, sorry, I've got it the wrong way around. 
I'm chit-chatting too much. I'm sorry, apologies. It's one part uh, of the Rust-Oleum gold mine and two parts of the Australian flow drop in that one. But I haven't quite made up my mind whether we're gonna use, I'm figuring the white for the uh, green background and then with a the nice little red kind of flowers to dot the vine, we're going to use the uh, Rust-Oleum gold mine cell activator. So another little quick tap of the paint because that gets all the paint right out, or all the bubbles out rather. And we're going to be working on this. Now I'm gonna to have to bring the camera out just a little bit so we can kind of see what's going on. Uh, this is an 11 by 14 cradle and it's a little bit large on the edge. So, you know, I've got a, um, I've got a drop cloth or a dash sheet down uh, to catch any of the drips because there might be a couple and Vanna is such a good sport about it. As long as uh, our, <laughs> our kitchen floor is this funny old cork tile that's green and yellow and many different colors. So it hides the paint really well. <laughs> Vanna nods. <laughs> so a big shout out to all you lovelies in the live chat, chitty chatting away. I hope you're having a good time and I hope you guys are ready for Christmas and that kind of thing. Uh, I'm very fortunate that I don't have too many people to buy presents for, uh, but of course, I always love spoiling Vanna. So we're gonna do a garlic right now. See, I've got two ideas, whether to do it kind of like in a circle, uh, and then we're gonna spin it out, and then it's gonna be kind of, it'll have a white middle to it as such, or if we're just gonna do a nice vine style. What do you think, Sean? See, because if it was a round canvas, you could do a circular wreath a lot more effectively, but because it's a, you see, I've got this canvas, or I could use this 12 by 12. <laughs> yeah, she says, um, it's 12 by 12. Yeah, okay, let's do just a nice Christmas uh, bloom vine, okay, guys? So I'm gonna lay the paint down, you're gonna see how I'm gonna do it, and I'll be explaining why I'm laying it down like that whilst I'm doing it. So you just gotta line up the cradle with the four points of the, of the four corners, sorry, rather. There we go, perfectly, lined up nicely, thanks to the old, thanks to my cross on the old spinner board, but thanks to Fluid Arts, great new maths. So there we go, excellent, we are in, uh, in focus. So let's spill some paint, so here we go guys. We want, uh, we want it to move a bit, but not too much. So there we go. I know that seems like maybe not enough at all, but we're going to just pick it up and tilt it a little bit and get it to cover the uh, whole cradle. Now this is one of the slightly more expensive ones from, um, from Michael's. Uh, so it is a little bit thicker. It, is, it does have a much more sturdier frame, let's say. And you can pour straight on them because they're so sturdy with this really nice thick frame and then the uh, two-ply wood on the top. Uh, they, don't they don't buckle, they don't crease when they, uh, when they dry. Like I've experienced a few of the more affordable options from the dollar store. So anyway, I'm just gonna spread this out, guys, because you know, I know we don't like those little rings that you can get if we just leave that puddle on the raw canvas, or raw cradle rather, sorry. I keep calling it a canvas when it's actually a cradle. So yeah, we spin it out, uh, we spread it out like this, just so when it dries, we don't get this funny ring. And I know there's a few of you out there that know exactly what I mean, uh, because when I've posted about it in the groups, people are like, ah, I've been wondering what this is, thank you. So that's the other reason why I smooth it all out to the edges like that. Okay then, friends, so let's start throwing some paint down. We're gonna go light, dark, light, dark, okay? So we're going to put the, first of all, we're gonna put the ball gown down because I want the ball gown to literally halo the uh, bloom vine we're about to do and the little uh, flowers too. So in the light, you'll get this lovely kind of halo around it of a gold flash. So I think I'm gonna go in a kind of S court sort of shape. So we're gonna get some kind of coverage like this. Okay, guys. So that's, uh, uh, actually, no, I'm gonna do it more, yes, I'm going to do it more a bit like this. There we go, okay guys? 
So I know lots of people go right to the edge of their canvas with their paint, and that's absolutely fine, each to their own, how you feel like it. But um, I always stop about a third away from the edge because when we spin this out, anything that's going to be close to the edge, we are going to lose a little bit of, okay? So that's the ball gown, beautiful, beautiful. Now I am going to do the, this is the lily pad. Fantastic metallic green there, look at that. And we're just gonna put just a little bit more down and that's it. We want to um, use slightly less and less guys. You see, I didn't put that much of the ball gown down to begin with because if we want this to be a kind of bloom vine, we're gonna to have to make sure when we spin it and it expands, it doesn't expand too big and just kind of cover the whole canvas because we want some negative space to kind of imply that it's a growing vine of interesting colors. Waffle, waffle. Here we go, this is the thalo cyanine green. And we're going to put the, I think we're gonna use the white cell activator on this one. Or should I just use the gold cell activator on both? What do you think, Vanna? Mm, gold cell activator. On both? Okay, it's rather Christmassy, so it is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is first of all, I'm gonna blow the blue vi bloom vine out, and then I'm gonna pick a couple of little spots, and we're gonna add those couple of little nice pink flowers. Unless you have the glitter cell activator made up. I don't have glitter cell activator made up. Sorry, Van. Oh, Van, is, she should see her this face. for glitter. Right, guys, so we're only gonna put this down on half of it, because... Okay, guys, we only put it, we do half and half because it sinks really pretty quickly. And if I'd put it all down, this bit would have sunk completely and we would have lost most of it. So here we go, let's just do this. We need a bit more in the middle. There we go. So. There we go. Oh, this is looking really pretty and nice. Let's hope this turns out like that. Just gonna blow this cell activator out. It's a little bit thick on this side. Excellent, there we go. Oh wow, it's worked really prettily on this side. Right, step away, leave it alone, Frosty. This side's worked really lovely, I love this. So what I'm gonna do with these nice little kind of petals, if you like to look at them that way, or leaves, because it's all green, I'm gonna kind of mimic a bit of a um, holly leaf kind of design with it. I'm gonna do my best with my modifications, but let's have a look. Oh yes, the, the ball gown has haloed the whole piece really beautifully. I'm just gonna blow out that and that and that. Excellent. Oh, this is working really well. I am very happy about this. I was a little bit nervous. I hadn't really uh, figured out what to do uh, for the Christmas theme. Uh, and I uh, was a bit nervous, but here we go. That uh, vine is looking uh, quite nice. But let me just first of all do the uh, couple of little flowers we're going to do on this. I think we're going to put a, uh, a little one here and maybe another one right in the middle there to break up this gold cell activator, maybe. Okay, so we're gonna put, uh, because we don't want, uh, this is gonna expand, okay guys? And we want the flowers to be in proportion with the vine, not overtake the vine. So we're gonna use very, very small amounts, okay guys? So here is just a little drip, bingo, of the ball gown. And that's all we need is little, little almost little drips just off the end of our, stir stick because any larger sorry guys i'm getting dry mouth again any larger uh, any more and you're going to make flowers that are really large and not complementary 
to the rest of the piece. So there we go. There's the ball gown, the afterglow, and the uh, quinacridone crimson. And we're going to do a little bloom here. So again, don't need too much. That's all we need. A good few drip, a little drip or so. Excuse the back of my head while I blow this out. Okay, that's cool. Let's just let that sink. And we're going to put another little one. I said just here, didn't I actually? I think that'll be a nice place to do it. So I'm just going to... Kind of blow the shape so you get a nice little uh, petal kind of design. Okay, guys. And we're going to put another little one here. So there's the little one. And now we're going to use even less than we did for this one because we want this one to be much smaller than that one. So a little drip of the afterglow. And I need to calm down. I nearly dripped it all the way through there. So let's just do a little bit of the quinacridone crimson. Bingo. And as before, even less cell activator than we just did there. Okay, guys. Bingo, that's all we needed. So, excuse me while I just blow this one out. Ah, well, we're gonna let that one sink and uh, hopefully uh, <laughs> it's gonna look a bit prettier than this one. But we are gonna lose some of it, as I said, because it's quite near the edge and we're gonna end up with just a bit of a bloom here and this nice one in the middle. Just, just going to blow these edges out so they're a little more petal-like. Mm. Dry mouth again. <clears throat> right, okay guys, so now we're going to do the modifications while we're just letting this um, cell activator sink. We're going to do the modif modifications to these uh, little leaves or these green petals if you want to call them that. Now my idea to try and make them look like holly because a holly has um, one, two, three, four, five points before it grows from the stem. So I'm going to do this, just drag it out like that and then we do have to clean it each time but then I'm just going to drag it like that just a little bit, not a lot, on the edges. So then we've got these kind of little spikes coming out And it's my idea and fancy that that kind of looks like a bit like holly, especially if I'm able to grab some of this green and just drag it down the middle, just like that. Now, does that look like a holly? Let's have a closer look. There we go, guys. That's me. Sorry, I could have had you much oh, that's closer. Very pretty. That little thing, yeah, this little one here. Thank you, Van. I think you might do. Okay, so this one here, we're going to come out with a little point just here and then I'm just going to leave this little cloth on the side so now we need to go shoop, out, shoop, out, shoop, it's not my <laughs> I don't know why they go shoop but anyway that, I'm just going to drag this bit down and through so there you go guys holly holly leaves kind of holly leaves so anyway let's do this one here this one's going to be a pretty one because it's just going to be a baby So yeah, if you're not modified for the first time yet, guys, or played around with your fluid art, don't be scared, just do it. Even if you, uh, I would suggest, if you're really in love with something that you've created and it really gives you that good feeling and you get some great therapy from it, I would urge you to keep that and not play around. But p playing around is how we learn, man. It's, it's really pretty cool. How you can all of a sudden just figure out how you can do things by either watching someone else just kind of guide the way and show you, or playing around with it yourself. So I'm just going to take these cells and then down through that. So there you go. And I'm going to just do one out through there, and another one through there. And then just whoop, 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 whoop. So there you go, guys. I hope you you're buying what I'm selling, that these are now 
These are now like little holly leaves, almost. Okay, so let's carry on just doing this one. This one looks great. And now we just grab some of this green and the cells down through the middle. Beautiful. Oh, this is working out really quite nicely. I often feel like I could have some music playing in the background, but I'm not too sure if uh, you then get dinged for copyright from uh, YouTube, because it would be nice and handy if there was some music playing in the background. Right, now I'm just gonna blow these balloons out a little more. Okay, now we're gonna, oh. just gonna gently, gently drag these corners into a center to make it look like a flower or flower petals. Or what I was actually gonna go for is I'm gonna pull these edges out. Uh, the, sorry, the, the ends of the little petals I'm gonna pull out. And they're gonna kind of be, to me, little uh, poinsettia uh, flowers, let's say. Uh, let's go for it, there we go. I'm just going to bring the edges out. You're going to have to give me some artistic license on the poinsettia. <laughs> and let's just give it a little swirl just in the middle. There we go. So there's one of the little blooms. <laughs> oh dear. This one there. Yeah, this one. Uh, let's see if we can save this one. <laughs> yeah, just as yeah, that's why I stopped myself. Yeah, you know because you can't judge it until you have finished modifying, of course. Or if you're not modifying, you still really can't judge it until you spun it out and it's uh, expanded and grown, and you can see what the final piece looks like. So let's just pull this little one out there. Let's pull that one out there. This one's already got a little beautiful little pokey bit. There we go. And then this one. And now, oh, let's clean the modifying tool. There we go. Okay, my friends, thank you so much for staying with me and sticking with me whilst I was doing that. Let's just check on the movement of it. Yeah, she's moving nicely. Okay, okay. So we are going to uh, just bring the camera out just a little bit so you can get the full Thing, and we are just going to wet those edges. Why do we wet the edges, Vanna? So the paint goes over them perfectly and doesn't fly all over the kitchen. Yeah, that's one thing. And also, yeah, it just hopefully just contains the mess. But uh, I always wet my edges because I, especially when I'm doing a bloom vine, something like this, because I don't necessarily want it to expand that far when we spin it. Because like, as I said at the beginning of the show, we want to maintain a bit of the composition and negative space. So it kind of looks like a vine or something like that, like we're going for, right? Everyone's very impressed with the realism you were able to accomplish in Fluid Art. Oh, well, thank you. Well, is this all the lovelies in the, in the live chat? Thank you, my lovely friends in the live chat. Bless They're your heart. Very impressed. What, with how I made this look like holly and, and flowers? And flowers. Yeah. Live, <laughs> hang on. Mm, thank you guys, <laughs> thank you very much. It's things like that that really kind of help me, um, you know, know that I'm going in the right direction and what I'm doing is good and entertaining and informative and educational. Um, so when you say things like that and Vanna relays it to me, yeah, you hit me right there, you do guys. <laughs> thank you so much. I Bless your hearts, I love you all. Thank you so much for your love and support. Let's zip this lip, get it pointing down, and let's spin this puppy, okay then, guys? So let's just get it a bit closer. And here we go. Slow at first, because I don't want the paint to come flying off. I want it to grow nice and gradually. And I let my pieces spin for longer than usual, just because I like to try and get off as much paint as I can in as few spins as I can, because then you're li less likely to have things go wonky on you or accidentally leave too much paint on and uh, it doesn't dry nicely or it cracks or something like that. But 
There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Christmas wreath. There we go, guys. The Christmas wreath. Let's have a look at this. There's hardly any movement at all, actually. Let me just... I'm just going to clean up these edges. You see these drips? Look, these ones almost made it out to the edge. Almost made it out to the edge. Beautiful. And we don't want that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, darling Vanna. Thank you so much, sweetheart. As I said, I was a little bit nervous about what to do. And, you know, I, th I thought about doing, you know, a Christmas tree swipe where you, you know, have a central trunk and then you just wipe it out. Blah, 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 blah. But I just wasn't feeling it. Do you know what I mean, friends? I was just like, eh. And uh, then it was lovely. I've got to give her the... I, uh, I, um, we have a little chat, all of our, uh, the admins on uh, the Acrylic Crazy Chain. We have a chat and I just put it out to everyone last night. I'm a little bit you know, lost for what I'm going to do. Can anyone give me a hint? And it was darling, um, it was lovely Christy messaged me and supported me, bless your heart, Christy. But it was Britt that actually said, why didn't you do a nice Christmas wreath with some flowers in it, red flowers, Christmas colours. And I'm like, Britt, that's perfect. Thank you so much. So there we go, guys. Another spin, the anti-clockwise spin, leaving it for a little bit longer, letting all that paint come to the edge of the cradle, float down nicely onto the spinner and we don't have lots of paint everywhere. There we go, there it is. 20 or 19 minutes. 19 minutes, that's cool, that's cool. Oh, I can see, yeah, 140. I was just going with the flow of this one and not really, not really uh, being concerned too much because it's Christmas and all. So I'm just checking the edges, guys. Yeah, we've got nice coverage everywhere I used. Just the right amount of pillow because it, you know, the design grew nicely. It's expanded nicely. And we've still got the nice detail of the kind of poinsettia flower here in the nice green vine with the other poinsettia flower there. So there we go. Let's just hold it up a bit closer for you. And I will try and get the uh, light on it. There we go. There you go. You can see the ball gown just absolutely just uh, haloing all of the vine behind there we go you can see it just as a nice background just to halo the vine but then disappear when it's not really there oh but there you go my friends merry christmas and um we'll give this one away uh next year on the first show uh the on the january the 8th uh, when we return so we're gonna have two weeks off well we are from uh, the joy of pouring um, uh, I do believe Venom and a few of the other guys have got videos to be released over Christmas. I've got one to release this Wednesday, but that's the last free lesson Wednesday of the year as well. But um, yes, please keep up with your subscriptions and look at your notifi notifications and you'll find out whether they're going to have some premieres or not. But there we go. There is the Christmas bloom vine. So we've got to leave it just a little while first, guys, just to let it sit before I pick it up and we're going to clean the ears up nicely. I'll give you another little, well, this, this one's really quite mucky already. I'll give you a nice little show. So I'm just gonna grab this. Oh, I'm ready for you to move it, please, Vanna. It's okay. So yes, my darling assistant Vanna is going to take the spinner away for me. Take the spinner away, thank you, darling. Okay, bingo, there we are. And I'm just wiping the edges because you've got to wipe the edges. As we know, venom fluid art from our wombat. If you don't clean the edges off, the paint is likely to continue with gravity falling off the edges, especially if uh, you don't have an absolute beautifully flat uh, drying rack. That's the other point that is really crucial with this fluid art, is having an absolute level drying rack because if it's slightly tipping in any direction, when you come back to check it, it's going to be mostly on the table or whatever it was. And well, not warped, it's just going to all fall off one side. So it's going to be a bit of a shame. But there you go, my friends. There it is, the Christmas, Christmas candy, Christmas eye candy. Oh, there's the, there you go. There's the halo of the ball gown behind it all. So here we go, Merry Christmas. I would have liked to have tried this with a black pillow as well and seen what it looked like. But most of these pigments and paints are all transparent. Mm. So on a black background, those, most of them would disappear. That's why we're so using the white. It's there so there you go. Thank you, Vanna. Thank you, darling. Really, you did a great job. 
I was a little bit worried, oh hang on, there's a little bit missing on one side. There we go, the done. The cells in the vine are so pretty. Thank you so much, darling. <clears throat> Gosh, sorry guys. Thank you so much, darling. That's lovely of you. Right, just got to clean my hands before I can touch the... Before I can touch the phone, because I use my phone to do the filming. I'm sorry, guys. We still haven't sorted out the new laptop and the camera so we can do the dual angles. Wombat just got a great new camera for Christmas, and he can do all of the new all of the uh, double shot things, so you can get the wide angle shot. Really? And then the up close, yeah, it's really cool. So yeah, and that's that's Venom, who's coming up after Tassie, after Nathan, it'll be, it'll be down. So I'm just cleaning my hands up a little bit, guys, so I can touch the camera. You know me, bit of a clean, clean freak. I've got some drips over here, let's just get rid of those. And bingo, hello there my lovelies. Right, so how many people have we got? Wow, 52. You've got 52, wow. Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you really liked that Christmas uh, Christmas bloom vine there in the Christmas colours. Wow, 52. Oh, now mine's dropped to 49. I said hello and I scared you off. Everyone went, ah, and ran away. So hang on guys, need a drink. So I was wondering whether to do this week a live auction because we haven't done one for a while. It's Christmas, though people would hate. It. And it's Christmas, so I don't want to do it because you know, for for a lot of people that would love the pieces of art, their budgets are very very tight at this time of year. So we're electing not to do that this time. But uh, I think maybe in the new year we might do one. Mm -hmm. um, probably some of the um, chameleon paints that I did when we were doing that, when we were playing with. Um, pretentious and pompous and all that kind of thing. Uh, we'll probably do something like that and give something like that away. Or we might actually give something like this away. Or say give it away. It will be the prize in the live auction. Something like this maybe, this cute little two-piece. But as you can imagine, that is my art story. That's supposed to be our, our spare bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Vanna and I both laugh about it. I have an amazingly understanding and supportive wife that has let this addiction really taken over, not taken over, but be integrated into our kitchen and totally taken over that back, back bedroom there. But we might do something like this. There we go. This is a very beautiful two piece I did. It was one of the creation videos from a few creation videos ago. Um, but yeah, something like that, or I might actually just give me one second, okay. This is one of my favorites, but who's, who am I kidding? They're all my favorite. We might do that one for the live auction. So here you go, guys, check out. A lovely resin finish on this one. This is, uh, I believe it's two, yeah, it's two foot square, 24 inches, pretty sure. Or maybe it could be 20 by 20. I'm not too sure. But something like this, again though, but when we go bigger, when it's something beautiful like this, uh, because it, it's a wooden cradle and that I've put resin on it as well, uh, it makes the weight you know, quite heavy, let's say, but it's only maybe five pounds at the most, I would guess. You know what I mean? But anyway, yes, so we're going to do a live auction in the new year on the first show in January, January the 8th. But there you go, this is a piece I did from a while ago. You can see I've got the, uh, that's interference gold from uh, Pearl X there. This piece is from before, piggies. <laughs> this is the Rust-Oleum gold in the back here. And then you've got also the Deco Art metallic blue here with some beautiful pinks and some lovely, lovely sky blues. But anyway, so we're going to do something, sorry for walking away whilst talking. You shall have a, oh, leans it up carefully on the wall as it smashes and falls down. Um, yes, that's what we're going to be doing next year. So let me just go over please the premiere crazy train that we're doing now after me. It is uh, the lovely Tassie from Tasley Mamea Art and she's in the UK. Then it's going to go all the way to Australia for Nathan and uh, the fine art of, uh, sorry, the fine art of distraction. 
Then after Nathan, we're going, staying in Australia for our lovely Wombat uh, from Venom Fluid Art. And then after Wombat, we're going to my lovely number one fan, my darling, Christy and her channel, Creations by Christy. And she's in the US, so then we're over in the US. Then after Christy, we are, and she's in Illinois, then we're going to Florida for Shannon from Shambi Fluid Art. And then after Shannon is going back to Australia for the lovely Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art. That's the lovely Kayleen. Hi there, darling. Hi, sweetheart. And then after Kayleen, we have the lovely Angie uh, Mason. Uh, and we haven't had Angie on the train for a little while. So hi there, Angie. That's great that you're on board with us today. And then the caboose, as he's been for the last uh, few weekends, is the dear, the lovely Hippy Dippy Painter Man. And that's Tony. Okay, then, my friends. Uh, my, it says here that we've got about 10 minutes left to go. And as we know, we always like just leaving it a little bit short. Uh, so we can um, go for a quick break, you know, if we need a bathroom break or we can get a snack and stuff like that before we head back on that train and we head over to the UK for Taz, Tazzy and Tazlima Mayer Art. So let me just show you these two again, guys. If you missed when I showed you earlier, this is the results of the uh, House Painters Cell Activators, the tests we did last week. Here we go. This is the Glidden Premium in White Satin as an activator. This is the Color to Go Tricorn Black as an activator. And then this is the Amsterdam Standard acrylic paints with just a bit of water add to it and this is all over our dollar store paint so as you can see if all you've got is the a Amsterdam you really don't need flow troll to have a good fun time and make something that was really pretty but after that I then experimented a little further and I came up with this one and I tried the rust-oleum as a cell activator and that was with just the rust-oleum and some paint uh, and some water just like the black Amsterdam paint as a cell activator and as you can see it worked really quite well so if you would like either of these these are going to be given away in the last week's canvas uh ca canvas giveaway uh all you have to do is watch number 86 my video number 86 please and i believe it's the uh, halloween transfer swipe redemption the views on it is quite low uh, and so if you could watch it and please watch it in its entirety uh, that'll help support me give it a thumbs up and then if you if you'd like to be in the competition where you can win either of these, please comment love. So again, that's video number 86. Just always making sure in case I get it wrong. And comment love, okay, friends? And then will the first person out of the hat will get the choice. And then the second person out of the hat will get the one that the first person didn't choose. We figured it would be easier. Nice to give two away. Have two winners rather than one. But I shall cover them in, in uh, resin. And that shall bring this pop of the gold out nicely. But these paints, the dollar store paints, they are all matte. So they're, they're, there's no reflective quality to them at all. They're all flat colored paints. But that's the LWC. And we're going to uh, read out the winner next year's show, January the 8th. Okay, my friends, so I just need another little sip. Do you have a minute for a question from here? We have minutes for anybody. Hi, Heather Rain. Oh, excuse me, Rainbow Bean. Yes. It comes with a picture. Oh, wow. Okay. Rainbow bean pictures. Okay. Let's have a look. So rainbow bean made this. Okay. There we go. That's what I'm looking at. Okay. Yeah. And she said, see these white lines? Yeah. She's not happy with the white lines. If they're not cracks, this is what she used. Wow. And she wants to know why she had the white lines. So do you want me to hold that screen up? Let's go back to the picture and go in close so I can have a look at it. Here's the... The white lines. So they're not cracks, they're just white lines. These little things, I guess you're talking about, Rainbow Bean. Um, and this was on a white pillow, I'm guessing? Mm. Or it looks like it could be on a black pillow, actually. Like a black pillow. Hmm. There. Oh. There's a close-up, better close-up of the lines. Ah, there's a better close-up of the lines. There we go. Go. I think they're pretty, to be honest. I think they're quite pretty. <laughs> um, was it a fresh canvas? May we pouring over something that already had texture on it from a pour? Uh, because I do that very often. You can see with this one, you can see the nice purple one that we covered over it last week. You can see that it's still there, that, that kind of thing. Um, that could possibly cause it, but it looks to me like you um, you used a white pillow or a dark pillow. Mm. So. Excuse me, it's the water <laughs> repeating on me. Maybe one of them was too thin. Yeah, maybe a consistent, consistency issue. So did you pour over it? Was it a fresh canvas, Rainbow Bean? Tell us quickly now in the live chat. Hi, hi friends. Thank you. So fresh you're gonna have- Fresh canvas. Fresh canvas, wow. Well, hmm. 
and your paints were mixed up. They, they, yeah, wonky cells, was it wonky cells? No, I don't think it was wonky cells. There were just these little lines, wasn't it? Mm. Hmm. Maybe there was a strong barometric pressure change. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I know sometimes I've left little white lines across my pieces where I've been um, a bit sloppy with the modifications and things like that and like picked up a bit of white pillow paint and dragged it through. Anywhere but, in the live chat have suggestions? Yeah, anybody in the live chat have suggestions, please help out our Heather. I've got no idea what would be causing that. Mm. Really funny, and you say they're not cracks, they're just lines. Yeah. Well, I would be happy. If, here we go, there's the silver lining, Heather. <laughs> the silver lining and the pot is half full because they're not cracks, they're just lines. <laughs> if they were cracks, then oh, they wouldn't be too great. So anyway, Thank you so much, my friends. Going to cut it off now so we can go for the bathroom breaks and the kitchen breaks, get a couple of snacks, and then head back on the train as we speed off across the Atlantic, uh, or across North America, then the Atlantic, and we hit lovely Tassie Bean from Taslima Mayer Art. And as I've said, it's going to be Nathan after uh, Tassie. And after Nathan, it's going to be Wombat. After Wombat, it's Christy. After Christy, it's Shannon. After Shannon, it's Bubbles. After Bubbles, it's Angie. And after Angie, it's... The hippy dippy paint on map. I don't know why I was going up every octave there. Anyway, thank you so much, my friends. Thank you to everybody that sent me a sticker. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts from your support. Please let everybody you know uh, that's starting out, beginners in the fluid art world, we're going to have a game changer giveaway starting on January the 8th, where you need, you're going to get everything you need to start seriously doing some good blooms and swipes. So thank you so much, my friends. Please press the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and press the like button. The more likes I get, the more I get uh, suggested by YouTube to people that haven't seen the show. So my friends, thank you for all your love and support. Thank Thank you to all the moderators. Thank you to everyone on the premiere train. Thank you to darling Vanna and also Britt, Sheldon and Lance. Not forgetting darling Bridget. I hope you're feeling better, sweetheart. But from all of us, to all of you, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and we'll see you in the new year. <clears throat> ah, happy pouring. <laughs>